Hi everyone, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library. I hope you're having a great summer. And today's program is about animal tracks. So, have you ever been outside and saw maybe your dog's paw print in the mud or um, another kind of print that could be another animal? So you can see animal tracks in mud. You can see them in the snow. Uh, you can see them in dirt. Um, my favorite place to see animal tracks is at the beach. Have you ever gone to the beach and seen like little tiny sandpipers, little feet prints in the sand? I think it's just too cute. So today we're going to become detectives, okay? So I want you to get your detective gear on. So put your hat on, get your magnifying glass, get some sturdy shoes on, and we're going to be animal detectives. So, what can you learn about animals by looking at their footprints? Can the tracks tell you if the animal is large or if the animal is small? Was it a bird or a mammal? How it moves? Look for tracks in nature and try to figure out what animal made this. And if you see animal tracks, it's a really good time to take a picture of it. Ask mom and dad to take a picture with their phone. And then you can refer to the materials that I gave you or go online and try to figure out what animal was in your yard or your sandbox or in the snow or at the beach, okay? So first I'm gonna start with a book. And it's called, what, Whose Track Is That? So I want you guys to help me try to figure out whose track that we see in this book, okay? And the book is by Stan Tequila. Tequila? All right, and this book is from the library, so if you like it, you can um, check it out from this from the library. Okay, so we're gonna start. Okay, it says, I got a glare there. This animal's track is long and skinny, and might be in a loop or curl about. Sometimes it's in a straight line. Now, can you see what's so these are tracks of an animal. Anybody guess what kind of animal that is? <gasps> it was an earthworm. So have you ever been outside and seen it's rained and the earthworms are out? So maybe they've been in your garden. I can see little lines on them. All right, here's for number, our guess number two. Pointed on one end, okay, let me get you the picture and rounded on the other, this track has is heart-shaped. This animal's hooves are extra hard and make deep tracks in the mud. Any guesses on what that one might be? Has anybody ever seen that track before? Look, it's a deer. So if you've seen that track, you have deer in your yard. And even if you live in the city, sometimes the deer come through the city too. Okay, this one, I'll just see the picture. See, and there it is in the snow. Small and round, my tracks are not easy to spot. My claws don't stick out, so my tracks don't leave claw marks in the mud or the snow. Whose tracks are those, I wonder? <gasps> I'm a bobcat. So bigger than a kitty cat, smaller than a lion, but they are smaller cats and they have been seen here in Fairfield County. Ooh, look at this one. I've seen a lot of this one. So take a look at that one. This animal's front paws look like a person's hand with five fingers, just like you. It sometimes even dunks its food in water. Whose tracks are those? Any guesses? It's the raccoon. The raccoon. Ooh, I bet you can guess what kind this one is. Look at that one. You see that? This animal's feet are good for walking and even better for swimming. Its toes are connected by webbing. Any guesses on what that one is? It's a Canada goose. 
And look at her with her little goslings. They're so cute. Ooh, look at that one. That one's a big print. Okay, check out the toes, the flat of the foot. This animal has large round feet with long, sharp claws. Its tracks are bigger than your hand. So an animal who has feet bigger than my hand, it's a bear. And they have seen bears in Ohio before. It's a black bear, actually. All right, we got more tracks. Check out those tracks. So there's a round part here, and then a round part here, then almost like a claw there. These tracks are small and oval, and they often show the animal's nails. They might, you might see these tracks in your yard, at a park, or even at the beach. What might be in your yard, in a park, and a beach? It's a dog. Look at that doggy. Who has dogs? If you have dogs, check out, watch your dogs in the sand or the snow or wherever and see what kind of paw prints that they make. All right, so here's our next one. Oops, I'm sorry. Hmm. This animal's front paw track is tiny compared, compared to its huge back foot. Its large, flat tail leaves a track, too. What kind of animal has a flat tail? Any guesses? Excuse me. It's a beaver. Look at that bird. Look at that animal. The beavers have those big flat tails. Got a couple more. You can see this animal's track when it migrates back home. Its tracks are tiny and thin, which can make them hard to see. These are the ones that I like the most. In the sand at the beach. What is that one? This one belongs to the robin. Anybody have robins in their yard? So after it rains, see if they've been in your uh, sandbox. When this animal runs, it's more like hopping with its feet side by side. Sometimes, just for sun, fun, it slides on its belly instead of running. Any guesses on whose tracks would make those? That looks like a sled to me, like somebody's been in a sled. It's an otter. They like to slide on their bellies. I think we've got one more. This animal's back feet are huge, helping it for it to jump very far. If it sits on a lily pad, you can't see its tracks at all. What kind of tracks do you think those are? Any guesses? Ribbit, ribbit. It's an American bullfrog. Not cool. They make their own tracks too. All right, so and then in the back of this book, it has all the tracks that we saw. So earthworm, deer, bobcat, raccoon, Canada goose and bear, dog, beaver, robin, otter, and bullfrog. And then it says take your hand so the next time you're walking around in the sand or the snow or the dirt, put your hand or your feet in the dirt and see if you leave a print. All right. So that is called Whose Track Is That? We also have some really great books here at the library about animal tracks. So this is called Tracks scat and signs so this you could, this book will help you figure out what color what kind of other animals might be in your yard or at the park um, so you're going to look at their tracks at their scat which is another name for poop and signs of other animals um, so this is a great book this is a really silly picture book called moose tracks and that's, this book is about uh, tracks and following tracks. This one's beautiful. It's called Wild Tracks. It's by David Arnowski. And it's a guide to nature's footprints. We have this one here at Northwest. And then this one is really cool. This is called Life Sized Animal Tracks. Okay. And 
it gives you information about other animals and other um, footprints that they make. So look at the common gecko. Look at his little footprints. Let's see what else we got. We looked at the otter. So this is a European rabbit, and those are what his little footprints look like. Let's see what else we can see. Ooh, a reindeer. That's what their animal tracks look like. Mm. <gasps> the African cheetah. Oh, look at those. You see those little claws there? We'll look at one more. This is a Siberian tiger. Look at how big that footprint is compared to my hand. I do not want to meet a Siberian tiger out in the wild. So you can also check out this book at the library. And tools like those will help you determine what's been in your yard. So I want to show you what's in your bag. If you picked up a bag for your uh, July crafts, in here, I'm the first program of the month, so um, I've included uh, some tracks for you. So the track is on the one side, so the black and white one, and then on the other side is the deer, or is the animal. So if you look at the tracks in your yard or out at the park, um, it can help you determine kind of what you see in your yard. You could also cut these out and make this a matching game. Okay, so that could be fun. And then the last one has a big page of all the tracks. Okay, so I know a lot of people have chickens. So I wanted to give you guys a craft that would um, help you make your own animal tracks, okay? Excuse me. So in your bag, you got two pipe cleaners so that you can make two tracks and you've got a straw. And what we're gonna make are chicken feet. And then you'll be able to use your chicken feet to make your own tracks. Okay, so take your pipe cleaner, okay? And you're gonna fold it, your pipe cleaner, about halfway up, maybe even a little bit more. And you want to make a point with it, okay? So this is step one. Then you're gonna bend your pipe cleaner backwards and we're going to create another foot with this and bend it upwards okay and then make that side flat okay. and then you're going to bend the other side and bend it back up and you're going to make your third foot so that's what we have now three feet then you're going to take what's left and you're going to twist it and this is why I included the straw. And you'll fold it up and you'll put your straw in here. And then you have a chicken foot. So then you can take your chicken foot and you can go, if you have a sandbox, you can put your chicken foot in the sandbox like this, deet, 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 and see what chicken feet look like. You can take some paint and make different designs. Um, that's why I give you a couple, so if you have different color of paint at home, you make, can make some different kinds. You can keep this for when it snows, which hopefully is a long time away, and you can deep, 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 deep in that the snow. If you happen to be going to the beach this year, you can keep that. Another fun thing to do is if you're playing in the water, it's a bright, sunshiny day, and you dip this in water, or you even dip your hand in water, and then put it on the dry uh, sidewalk, um, you'll be able to see what your tracks look like or what this chicken track looks like. Okay, so I hope that you've learned something today and that you will be go out and become animal detectives too and see what kind of animals are in your yard or at the park or at the beach even. And I would love to hear what kind of animals you've seen in your yard or what kind of tracks you've seen in your yard. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a great summer. And don't forget, we have lots more programs. And you can come pick up your bags with your crafts at the local branches while supplies last. All right? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.